How y'all doing tonight? Tonight we're going to keep on going with this Asian inspired theme here. We're going to do some sesame chicken served over rice. I think it's going to be really, really good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put it together, at least a marinade right now. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to take some of the dry ingredients. It's really in the marinade I say or the breading and we're going to make a uh, mix this up. First off, I'm going to take a quarter of a cup of flour, just your all purpose flour that in there. Then we're going to take a quarter of a cup of cornstarch, two tablespoons of baking soda, and two tablespoons of baking powder. I just mix all that right there in that bowl. Just kind of mix that all together. That way, when we introduce the wet stuff, we'll have all this put together already. All right. Now, the wet team. Let's go ahead with quarter cup of soy sauce. I've got two teaspoons of sesame oil. I've got uh, two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar. Got two tablespoons of Oil. I just used the peanut oil that I used to fry everything in. And a quarter cup of water. I'm going to take that there and mix that up. One more thing I want to put in there. I think it be pretty good. I add a little bit of this Hoover sauce. All right, to use. Maybe a Drop or two, there we go, about a teaspoon, tablespoon. I think that'll give it some good flavor too. So we'll stir that in. Now let's get to chicken. We've got three pounds of cut up chicken thighs. So you cut them up in little pieces about like that. I'm gonna go ahead and start. I guess the best way to do it is pour the wet stuff over it. I get that mixed in there a little bit. And now, I tell you, it's about to get dirty. Not sure how I'm going to turn this camera off, but I'm going to pour the dry stuff right in there, and I'm going to just have to mix this in with my hands. I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera off. Okay, so I mixed that up, got my hands all washed, and see how it's like a, a, a pancake batter or a dip batter, almost like a tempura or something? That's going to make a nice light coating on that chicken. We're going to let this marinate for about an hour, just like this. Meanwhile, we're going to make our sauce. Starts, starts the sauce, I'm going to start out with a little stainless steel saucepan here and I'm going to heat it up. We got the pan hot. I've got a trim those chicken thighs. I just took all the little fatty bits and stuff like that. What we're going to do is just kind of brown that up a little bit and we'll get some of the flavor out of these to make that sauce. You just want to kind of brown these a little bit in the pan. I know this is overcrowded, that's fine. We're not going to eat this, these trimmings. We're just going to use these for pure flavor. Now that I've got this chicken, like I want, see how all the fat and the oil and everything's rendering out of it? That's good. So let's go ahead and add a cup of water to it. And all the flavor, that's just, that's what's really doing it. So basically what we're making is a really nice, rich chicken stock or a broth here. Just a quick way of doing it. So we'll let this keep simmering on the stove. So the chicken here, or my a little so-called stock is simmered for about 30 minutes. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to strain it off here in uh, this measuring cup. What I'm trying to do ultimately is get about three cups of reserved liquid. So let's see, I don't know if you can see that or not. And you don't have to do all this. You could use three cups of just chicken stock or broth or whatever. But I like to, you know, I hate to waste stuff. We had all these chicken pieces, parts, and so why waste it, you know what I mean? So that's good. <clears throat> Let's see how much I got out of that actually. Get on the... Let's see. That made 
almost a cup and a half. What I'm doing is I'm let this sit for a minute aside because we got an hour for this stuff to marinate and see if the, I can get some of the oil and stuff to come on the top and skin that off. All right, let's go ahead and start building our sauce. What we're going to do, we're going to build this up and then we're going to use it and set it aside for a minute until we fry the chicken. I'm going to start off with three cups. Uh, you know, with that chicken stock that we made, and I had to add a little bit more store bought. Made about two cups, and had to add about another cup. So we got the chicken stock, three cups of chicken stock or broth. I'm gonna add about a quarter cup of vinegar. It's that white rice wine vinegar. And then we're gonna add a cup of sugar. It's white sugar here. And then in there, you got, let's stir that in a little bit. I've got this on about medium heat for right now. I'm going to put in about a quarter cup of soy sauce. About two tablespoons of sesame oil. Now I've got probably about two and a half tablespoons of uh, chili sauce. But just, you know, let me show you what it comes in. This stuff here, chili sauce or chili paste, you know, it's like this. You can see it, it's just some, some good heat to it. It's got some flavor too, garlic chili flavor actually. Speaking of garlic, I'm going to add some garlic powder. Got about two teaspoons of garlic powder. I'll add that in here. And last but not least, I'm gonna add a little bit of my good Hoover sauce, just because. Put that in there, just give it a little lump. So I'm gonna let this simmer here just for a little bit. I brought the broth to a boil, with the broth, the uh, sauce to a boil. I'm gonna turn the heat down low, let it simmer. I'm gonna go ahead and heat some oil on the wok. And we'll get to frying that chicken. Chicken for the sesame chicken. Now that I think my oil's ready, go ahead and try this out. So we'll put a few of these in here at a time. There we go. Might let it get just a tad hotter actually. You really want that stuff to crackle when you set your uh, chicken in there. But I'll let this one cook by itself and we'll let the oil just get a little hotter. So it's co been cooking about three minutes. I think that's plenty enough for it. See how it's nice golden brown? I'm going to set it aside and then we're going to load the pan up. Now the oil's gotten a little bit hotter. With some more pieces. I wish I had a little oil thermometer. You know, they say you can throw a little piece of flour down there and if it really starts uh, you know, popping and stuff is good, but I don't have any, you have any flour out. So see, that's perfect. That's what you want to see. I'm going to cook about five of these pieces here in a time and stop it through about three minutes of a deal. I think that'll be plenty enough. So, I'm frying off all the chicken there. Uh, we're about to prepare the sauce, get it ready. Which right now, we're going to get this wok. Just heat up, get some good oil. Whoa, hey, yeah. Get that wok good and heated. And uh, get the oil heated up. And as soon as we do all that, we'll uh, start mixing the sauce and everything else. Put the wok to the side just for a second because I want to add a little bit of cornstarch to this sauce before we start building everything. I'm just going to stir that in. Forgot about that. Just add a little bit of that cornstarch there. All right, let's build this dish. First off, we got a wok getting hot there. 
Let me get, I'm gonna put a little bit of this sauce in there. A little bit of sesame seeds. Start throwing some of this chicken in there. Ooh, that's hot. Let's start. Let's start going. A little bit of broccoli. Do enough for that. And we'll start just tossing in the sauce. Yeah, I think we need a little bit more. And this is something, see, you're making these different parts. You got your sauce, you got your chicken, you got the broccoli and everything. You got, your, oh, you got some rice over there heated up. And we just make it to order. Go ahead and put a little more sesame seeds. They're all sticking in my hand now. There you go. You give it the real sesame taste. And let that simmer just for a second. Just keep stirring it around. And that's when you get all that wonderful coating in there. That's that good stuff, man. More chicken there. And I've got this on about a medium high heat with this wok. I'm gonna put a little bit more broccoli. Wow, <laughs> that's gonna be good. A little bit more sauce. There we go. I'm about ready to serve it up. Oh, it's really good. I'll tell you what. Awesome looking. Now I tasted a couple of pieces of the chicken, you know, before I put the sauce on them or put them in the sauce, and I also tasted the sauce. Both very good. So I'm gonna put a little bit more sauce in here. I want to heat up some me some more sauce to drizzle over it. But other than that, I think it's gonna be perfect. I guess the only thing left to do is give it a taste. Wow. Mm-mm-mm. Good stuff. It's awesome. So much better than so if you get off those buffets. You really gotta try this recipe out, I'm telling you. Real sesame chicken.